is embarking on a world tour starting May 29th in the Netherlands, and they'll be on tour through most of the summer. While they don't come home until their North American opener August 3rd in Camden, New Jersey, fans in the U.S. can go to New York City's Great White Way to get their Green Day fix. The new musical American Idiot is a hybrid between a concert and a play and is a rollicking rock opera. Billy Joe Armstrong was asked the difference between a Green Day concert and American Idiot on Broadway. I think it actually, I think it actually has a lot in common because it's flesh and blood and you, you throw out you know, and if you see what, you know, John Gallagher's performance, it's like a combination of like someone that's on, like on stage, like a, a theater actor, but also putting on a rock show at the same time. And you can see him like falling apart, you know, and, but, and also in ways of the way he's put, he's throwing himself out there as a performer, but also as, at the same time, he's, he's throwing himself as a rock musician. Tom Kitt was literally instrumental in helping to translate Green Day's music to the stage as musical supervisor in charge of arrangements and orchestration. He told us what the challenge was in creating the perfect hybrid between concert and Broadway. I, I think the biggest obstacle is not to mess up what is a completely brilliant, iconic album. Um, and, and to, to be able to open yourself up creatively to create an adaptation, a new adaptation of this, but to keep the original intent of this brilliant album. So I, if, if, if you still hear Green Day up there, even when we are deviating a little bit, then I think I've done my job. Director Michael Mayer focused on the interpersonal side of American Idiot and only lightly touched on the political leanings of the original Green Day album. It's currently playing on Broadway, and tickets can be had through AmericanIdiotOnBroadway.com.